what's going on everyone so guys welcome back to another video so this video guys we're just going to be uh discussing a few things so i'm on my way to a customer's location a uh, customer has two properties that need to be cleaned out uh, today we're going to be looking at one property go down survey the property and you know see exactly how much we talk as far as the stuff that needs to be removed according to the customer she's she stated that the whole house is just packed it's just packed with junk they're trying to do something with these two properties i think one of them they want to rent out but it's just comes to the time that they need to clean out this pricing stuff out it's it's something that you learn as you go as you you know gain more experience you're not going to always price things out correctly until you have that you know the years of experience underneath your belt so what i've noticed is that when you do estimates with your equipment the customer will take you serious you know they'll take you serious about uh, your service uh, your profession just being in uniform and having your equipment is very it's a very professional stance so this is a uh, pretty much a 30 30 minute drive for a estimate so anyway let me focus on the road and i'll chit chat with you guys later here let me get out of your way all right you're not afraid of snakes are you no nah. okay all right so it does it go back yep right, cool. a, yeah here i'll show you this way okay See that wall is kind of ah, okay, over and there. The outside porch that goes all the way down the end and wraps around. Come here, come here, come over. Come here. Lily, come here. Good girl. Right. No. Oh, so it's it's stuff all the way down here. It's all the way down here. Really? Not that shed. That's an attached shed. Gotcha. But it goes all the way over to the fence. All the way over. Okay. So most of it's full. The complete. Okay. Here we Anything upstairs? Yes. Okay. So it's downstairs and upstairs. Yeah. And if you're able to give us a good price, then there's a whole lot of other work that would follow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you guys got it. Oh, not this. There's another cool. house here. Oh, so that, that's the other house that's that you're referring house. to. Okay. And then, like I said, I got seven houses worth of stuff piled into two houses. Okay. And then my mother in law passed away, and then my granny passed away, so that was two more houses. See, there's, yeah. like I said, I, I have everything my kids and the properties had, and I couldn't throw nothing away when my wife was alive. Gotcha. And it's got to be a habit of sitting there. Yeah, yeah. Like this porch, that goes all the way around and up the other side. Oh, it wraps around. Okay. And then, of course, upstairs. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely doable. And I got the manpower to do it. All right, so it's just a question of the budget, so that's what we probably have to we look at. We got real luck on July 2nd. They had a heck of a rainstorm, but right about where the boats are bouncing away right now. Yeah. That's where the barge was for the fireworks. Really? Yeah. Jeez. It's always raining here, but it was real close. Started a couple hours late because it was a horrible thunderstorm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. trying to, yeah. yeah. It was rolling out to the uh, They didn't have the manpower to do it another day, so they waited it out. Oh, couple of, yeah. You can do this a little separate for um, the little house, since that's the most immediate yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. And uh, with the little house, we can get that done week if the price is right and that um that would be ideal because the contractor can't really see what he's doing he said so that's cleared out gotcha he, yeah he wants everything cleared up okay okay and what's the square footage of this gotcha this section right here that's one load that would be considered as two With everything that's in here? Well, I'd probably be taking, well, they'd be really close. It'd be a dumpster, maybe a dumpster. Well, if you separate the metal, it'll probably get it in a dumpster with, the crush, with crushing it down. 
And there's, like I said, there's stuff I gotta take out of here. Other things I just wanna set off this side, give away. Gotcha. Gotcha, okay. And it didn't pretty much wraps around there. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, Yeah. There's no light in here? Oh, I can, yeah, there's electricity in here. Oh, okay. I just got the power off. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, guys, I'm rolling leaving this property it's a absolutely beautiful property from what i'm understanding is that they got a real tight budget and it's just that right now due to you know the economic situation they're willing to do trade you know such as do the job for six hundred dollars and they'll give you a jet ski that sounds like a good deal if you're that type of person that has access to where to sell at jet ski people that will is willing to buy the jet ski if it needs maintenance done to it. There's a lot of other underlining factors that come into play if you were to do, you know, trade your service for a job like that. For this particular job, I'm gonna send a customer an email or a text. You know, we can stay in touch just in case they need my service. I apologize for the, uh, the rain. It's, it's, the rainstorm is it's picking up big time, big time, but. You know, I'm, I'm always prepared, guys. Got my rain clothes, so I'm prepared. Get me down the cats and dogs outside right now. And then it's, it's pouring so much that the highway has got puddles. Puddle after puddle. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap it up. I definitely appreciate everyone for watching this video. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please be kind to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification. Definitely don't forget to drop a comment. Let me know what you're working on, what you're getting yourself into. But actually, more so, how would you provide an estimate for that type of job? See you guys later. Peace.